And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. When we last left off we had solved the problem with the dog. And doing so got one of the parts that we were missing for our bike. I also do think that I have figured out another puzzle. Actually. Namely the puzzle involving the guy who stole Maure Maureen's torch. I think the solution is very simple actually and does not require, certainly does not require any uses of meat since we already used that piece of meat. <coughs> In fact does not require any use of any item whatsoever. Okay, let us um, go back to the place. This guy, so um, let's recall that we don't have many options here, but one thing that we can do is we can knock on the door. And um, do you notice this little spy on the door? And this gap between the door and the floor which en enables us to see when the guy is actually standing right in front of the door. I think that is a clear sign that we have to wait until he um, stands right in front of the door and then kick it in, simply. Okay, let us, uh, yeah, knock on the door. And then when he's standing there, yeah. Hey, bag. I ain't home. Aha! Intelligence solves problems. Well, at least some of them. Usually not um, things concerning society, but at least concerning video games. I think he's had enough. Can I can I kiss him? I'm not putting my lips on that. Can I look at this him? view defines true beauty? Okay. It's just top. I can I could kick him. I think he's had enough. Yeah. But I'm not going to. Um, okay. How do I get into the cellar then? Oh. Uh, why does the elevator now work and it didn't before? Okay, anyway, there's a Marine's torch. Better hustle this back to Mo. And uh, from the looks of it. <coughs> cutscene. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. Just gotta gas her up and go. Yeah, before the cutscene so abruptly um, started to play, I wanted to say that apparently Todd was building cats or some kind of toy there in his basement. Okay, anyway, the only thing that we're missing is the Gasoline. We know where to get this gasoline. Don't let we don't yet know how to get this gasoline. Anyway, um <clears throat> So the problem was that there was um yeah, some surveillance. Yeah, I think as soon as we try to touch this um, or get too close to it, the alarm will sound. We also don't have many options. We could go. We can only go back. Um, can we look at it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, touching is not a good idea. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, we have a. It's a lockpick. A lockpick. It's pick. a lockpick. Yeah. And a battery. Wish this gas can was full. Wish this gas no, can was a battery. full. Battery. Gas can. Okay. 
Nothing else. Hmm. Okay, as soon as I, I touch this, now the alarm is going to sound. Yeah. Um, so the question is... So I think that you actually have to have to um, have to sound I mean provoke the alarm and then do something else. Um, what this something else is, I don't know. Let's do something else. Let us go back to Todd's place because I'm curious as to whether we can actually go back into a cellar or whether something has changed here. Um, he's still passed out. This was re real life and he'd probably be dead by now, but... Okay, there's a tin dog, yeah, that's... He's building toys in this basement for some reason. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Can we take the dog? I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. Oh. Lick it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Kick it. Kick the little tin doggy. Maybe later. Hmm. Okay, then just look at it. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Hmm. A can pile? Oh, come on. Kick the can pile for me, will you? I'd rather just get out of here. Ah. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. Such a big pile of no fun. Metal bird? Ouch. I nominate that as least offensive of show. Hmm. Now it seem, would seem that there's actually ugh, absolutely nothing here to do. Then let's go back. Hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, now I see. Okay, there was um. Do we remember the the door? It was locked. It was apparently just, um, yeah, a camouflage for this elevator, actually, yeah. Okay, we have, hmm. Steel bars in the glass. Let's, let's just test something. Let us see what actually happens if we just stay there when the alarm sounds. Most probably we will die. But <clears throat> at least let's find out if this is the case or not. Hmm. And here was nothing else of interest, I think. Yes. <coughs> Okay, let us touch this ladder. Okay, um... Oh, you could actually climb. Hmm. 
I get the same fire for you do that, Tony. Sorry, boss. Not excited. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea what to do. Okay. Um, let's go back to Maureen's place. <clears throat> maybe we can. There's some dialogue option. Or maybe. Yeah, maybe she gives us a hint. Hello, Maureen. Mo. Yeah, Ben. Okay, do you have any idea? Yeah. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? How I could get the gasoline. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Hmm. Well, that's well I'll you... let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay, folks, I'm... It's official now. I think I'm stuck. Um... Yeah. So I think I will end this video a bit... Um... Early. And when you come back, folks, um, I will have figured out the puzzle with the gas. So until next time, folks, until then.